In this video, we're going to look at what happens when we launch a projectile at an angle. Here I've got a simple example. I cut out a piece of cardboard and I'm going to toss it into the air. And we'll see that it follows a parabolic path. Now, it's the center of gravity of the object. There's a little dot. It's the center of gravity of the object that follows that path while the rest of the object rotates around it. Later in this course, um, we'll learn more about center of gravity and how it affects um, an object. But for now, it's just important to know that we can sort of condense an object down to its center of gravity when we study its motion. Now, um, this was uh, fun to do, but I, I don't have a ton of information about um, about my launch angle and my speed and so forth. So what I did um, in order to have something to study was, oops, was I launched um, a projectile at, at an angle from a projectile launcher. So it's a little marble, it's kind of hard to see, but it follows the path of the um, red dots. And uh, what I'm going to do here is figure out the um, initial velocity of the marble and use that to see what I can calculate. What can I figure out from this situation? Um, so I took a screenshot and I put it into Notability. And here I've got um, a picture of my projectile launched at an angle. So uh, I'm going to label some things that I know. I know delta y is uh, 1.065 meters. It's one meter plus a little more, 6.5 centimeters. I know... Um, my launch angle is 45 degrees. It's kind of hard to see here, but there's um, angles on this marble launcher, so I set it right at 45 degrees. And then if I go back to my video physics, I was able to figure out something else. I was able to figure out the horizontal velocity. Now this is a graph, the top graph is a horizontal position time graph and the bottom graph is a horizontal velocity time graph. And um, what I did then was I put this into graphical analysis and I did a best fit line of the position time graph and the slope is 1.972. So the horizontal speed of the marble is 1.972. So I'm just going to sketch this. Now it's not the um, diagonal speed that's 1.972. This is 1.972 meters per second, this component, which we call Vx. Okay, since it's launched at a 45 degree angle, and I know that a 45 degree angle creates an isosceles right triangle, that means that the initial vertical velocity is also 1.972. This also means that I can figure out the composite initial velocity using the Pythagorean theorem. I know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So that resultant or that diagonal is often called r. So I could do 1.972 squared plus 1.972 squared, oops. Um, is R squared. Um, or if you know your special right triangles, you also know you could take 1.972 times the square root of two. So I'm just getting out my trusty calculator here. And I get 2.789. Okay, so we have initial velocity is 2.789 meters per second. We have launch angle 
is 45 degrees, and we have vertical displacement is um, actually negative 1.065 because the, the ball is going to land below where it started. Here's what we're going to try to calculate. We're going to calculate the time that the ball was in the air, and we're also going to calculate the horizontal displacement of the ball, and then we'll compare those two items to our actual values from video physics. Okay, so I want to split up my information and think about vertical and horizontal information, and I'm going to start with vertical. Um, I've got the vertical displacement, negative, or y equals negative 1.065 meters. I know the acceleration in the vertical direction is g, is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. I know that the initial velocity in the y direction is equal to the initial velocity times the sine of the angle. And I actually, I kind of did this backwards, I guess. I have the initial velocity in the y direction here, 1.972. meters per second, and I would like to know delta t. And I can apply one of our kinematic equations. We know delta x equals v naught d t plus one half a delta t squared. When we apply this to objects that are launched, we're going to apply it to the vertical direction because we know that the vertical direction is accelerating. When we move on to the horizontal direction, we'll see that that direction is not accelerating. So I'm going to modify this equation just a little bit. I'm going to say that delta y equals v naught y, only the vertical component, delta t, plus 1 half times g times delta t squared. Sometimes you'll also see it written like this, delta y equals v naught sine theta. Again, that's the vertical component of the initial velocity times delta t plus 1 half g delta t squared. Okay, I'm ready to plug in my values. Delta y was negative 1.065. Um, my initial speed in the vertical direction was 1.972 t, and then 1 half g was uh, negative 4.905 t squared. Now I'm going to put this into standard form. So I'm going to add 4.905 to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 1.972 from both sides, t, so that I end up with 4.905 t squared um, minus 1.972 t minus 1.065 equals 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation, and this is something um, that I can solve. And there are a number of ways to solve it. You can solve it with the quadratic formula. You can graph it on a graphing calculator and find the zeros, and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go to Desmos. And I'm going to go to the graphing calculator in just a moment. Oh, it's really taking a long time to load. Let's try this again. Hmm. Okay, I have made it to Desmos. Thank you for bearing with me. Now I have forgotten my numbers. Um, my A value is 4.905, B value is negative 1.972, C is negative 1.065. Let's see if I can remember that. So 4.905, 
x squared, oops, okay, uh, minus 1.972 Minus 1.065. Okay, and then we're looking for the zeros. So one thing that I really like about Desmos is it shows us the zeros um, right on the graph. We can just tap them and find them. And the, the answer that I want is the positive answer. So this is 0 0.7085. So T is 0 0.7085 seconds. Now I'm going to verify that. I'm going to go back to um, graphical analysis. And it looks like if I look at where, um, if I look at where this thing hit the ground, it's definitely between 0.7 and 0.8 seconds. Um, so that's a good sign. And let's see, let's go back to video physics. Again, I'm looking at where it seems to hit the ground and it's uh, between 0.7 and 0.8 seconds. So I think I'm in, I think I'm in good shape um, with my calculation there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I, I found um, delta T. And again, I, I did that using a quadratic formula. Now I'm going to find delta x. And now I'm going to think about only about horizontal motion. And in the horizontal direction, we have constant velocity. And there's really only one formula for constant velocity. It's displacement equals velocity times time. I am going to modify it slightly to indicate that I'm working with projectiles. I'm going to write vx. You could also write v naught cosine theta. Again, remember that if I have an object launched at an angle, and this is my initial velocity, that this would be v naught cosine theta. This would be v naught sine theta. OK. Um, but I know what this value is. I know what this horizontal velocity is. That was one of the first things I figured out. It's 1.972. And now I know the time is 0 0.7085. So I'm going to multiply those together. And I get um, 1.397. or about 1.4 meters. So um, let's go to the tape or the video and see if that looks about right. So on the floor here, um, I've got a meter, I've got a meter stick. Let's see, I've got a meter stick going straight up and down. Here's a meter stick. So um, this does, that would be about one meter, and it looks like it's a, a meter and then some. So just by eyeballing it, it looks about right. If I look at um, my graph here, if I look at my um, velocity position graph, I can see my initial y position, and I can see, um, well, actually what I want, though, is What I want is the final um, horizontal position, which from this graph. So let's go back to graphical analysis. So let's see where this thing hits the ground. Let's go to about 0 0.7, 0 0.7 seconds. That's about as close as I can get. When I um, look at that value, 
or when I look at that point on the graph, I'm looking at this point right here, I'm looking at 0.7, because that's, that's when it hits the ground. If I just look at this graph, I can see that the horizontal position is indeed about, um, well, this would be 1.5 here, so it's almost to 1.5. So I don't, I don't have a perfect correlation, but um, I'm pretty close. I wanted my answer to be 1.4 meters. Okay. Okay, so to sum up, to find um, time, we use the quadratic formula here. And to find horizontal position, we just use um, horizontal distance equals position or equals velocity times time.